गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट दिस इज आवर मैथमेटिक्स क्लास फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर वन नंबर सिस्टम लेक्चर वन इन दिस चैप लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस आवर फर्स्ट चैप्टर नंबर सिस्टम फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज नंबर सिस्टम सो नंबर सिस्टम इज अ राइटिंग सिस्टम फॉर एक्सप्रेसिंग नंबर्स ओके सो नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विद डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ नंबर्स फर्स्ट इज नेचुरल नंबर्स नेचुरल नंबर्स आर काउंटिंग नंबर्स लाइक वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सो ऑन वी डिनोट नेचुरल नंबर विद कैपिटल एन we know one is first natural number but we don't know about last natural number second one is whole number whole numbers are 0 1 2 3 4 5 and so on a definition of whole number is when we include zero with all natural numbers they are become whole numbers so what are the whole numbers whole numbers are those numbers in which we include zero and all natural numbers again we denote whole numbers with the capital w whole number start with zero and it also goes to infinity next number is next number is integers integers are those numbers in which we have all positive and negative numbers with zero so integers are collection of all positive negative and zero so next one is rational number rational number you already read about rational numbers in your previous class a number is called rational number if it can be written in the form of p upon q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0 so a number is called rational number only when it can written in the form of p upon q and the two conditions are there first one when p and q are integers and q not equal to 0 i will take some example like 2 upon 5 it is a rational number because 2 and 5 both are integers and q is not equal to 0 one more Minus four upon three is also an example of rational number because minus four and three both are integers, and q is not equal to zero. Similarly, one upon four. So, all integers, whole numbers, and natural numbers is present in the form of rational number only on zero is not a part. of this number in the places of q only if we will take a zero in the form of p it is also a rational number so conditions are satisfied that both conditions are satisfied p and q both are integers and q is not equal to zero next one is irrational numbers irrational numbers are those numbers which we cannot written in the form of p upon q conditions are same p and q both are integers and q is not equal to 0 example root 2 root 5 4.5712 ….... Dash. now some of the students are thinking that root 2 upon 1 is also a rational number it is in p upon q form but root 2 is not a integer because 
P and Q both are integers. They should be integers, but root two is not a integer. Next is real numbers. Real numbers are the collection of all rational plus irrational numbers. So, students, real number is the collection of all rational plus irrational numbers. Rational numbers are those numbers which we can written in the form of p upon q, where p and q both are integers and q should not be equal to zero. Irrational numbers are those numbers which we can't written in the form of p and q, and both p and q are the not the integers. So you know it very well. Then how we will represent a irrational number on a number line? Because every rational number has a unique position or representation on a number line. But irrational number as well, a rational number also has a unique representation and a fixed position on a number line. So. Representation on the number line for both rational and irrational numbers are possible. Rational number you already know. For the irrational number, we will discuss with in your next lecture. Now, I will explain about some operations on rational and irrational numbers which we follow in our chapter. If we will take addition and difference between a rational and irrational similarly rational irrational irrational or rational result always in the form of irrational number similar if we will take an example 5 is a rational number and root 2 is a irrational result always a irrational number similarly when we will subtract a rational number and irrational number like this or like this result always will be a irrational number in the case of multiplication and division multiplication with a rational and irrational numbers are always a irrational number similarly here if we will divide a rational number with irrational or irrational number with rational result always be a irrational number next topic is how we will find some rational numbers between two rational number so i am taking an example find five rational numbers between 2 upon 7 and 3 upon 7 so we are going to find five rational numbers between these two rational number first step for finding the rational number is we have to take a number greater than 1 of our required number our required number is 5 so we will take 6 if our required number is 13 then we will take 14 and after this we multiply and divide the given rational numbers so we have 2 upon 7 and 3 upon 7 and we will multiply both multiply and divide both the rational numbers with 6. So we will get our answer as 12 upon 42 and 18 upon 42. Now we know it very well then after 12 upon 42 we have 13 upon 42 then 14 upon 42, 15 upon 42, 16 upon 42 and 17 upon 42. So these are our five required numbers which we want in our question if we want more required number then we will change this number according to the question next topic is next topic is equivalent rational numbers equivalent rational numbers are those number whose standard fraction is equal to each other now if I will say 1 upon 2, 2 upon 4, 10 upon 20, 25 upon 50, 47 upon 94, they are equivalent rational numbers. Then you will say how? If I will solve these numbers and 
start with cancellation then i will get these answer which is equal to first fraction so this result shows that standard fraction standard means after cancellation when there is no scope of cancellation after cancellation all fractions are equal to each other it means they are equivalent rational number so students in this lecture today we discussed or i taught you about number system after this i explained natural numbers whole numbers rational numbers irrational numbers and real numbers and then how we will find some rational numbers between two rational numbers and equivalent rational numbers now if you have any doubt then please mention in comment section and now it's a turn for your homework this is your today's homework you have to do questions of exercise 1.1 from ncert revise all theoretical part from ncert also thank you very much